9 News at 5. WUSA 9 News, the first and only local news in the nation's capital in high definition. Hello and welcome to 9 News at 5. I'm J.C. Hayward. I'm Todd McDermott. There's new hope for people who just can't stop sweating. A twist on an old procedure is helping many people who suffer with excessive sweating stop the drip. We followed one woman who had the surgery two weeks ago, and tonight, Leslie Fawcett has an update on her quest for drier days. The simple act of packing to head back to school wasn't always this easy for Eileen Meyer. Because her hands were like a running sink, she'd often lose her grip on anything she touched. But two weeks ago, she underwent a procedure at Georgetown University Hospital called ETS to stop the drip. I woke up and I just was shocked that my hands were finally dry. Eileen wondered if she'd ever dry out. For years, she suffered from hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating. There's the nerve right there. I just divided it. In a 15-minute procedure, doctors divided and cut the sympathetic nerve. That's the nerve that causes the hands to sweat. And now? I've already had to shake people's hands that I met for the first time, and I had no problem with it. So I was kind of like, wow, this is new. So you got something new in your purse now. Yep, a little bit of lotion. <laughs> <laughs> the nursing well, major at James Madison University it's says it's the little well. things <laughs> most of us but take for granted that she's all. looking the yep, most forward to. Yep, now I can use a lot and just rubs it in. Just rubbing her hands oh, together. <laughs> Touch my hands. They're dry and I extending like them, me. knowing they aren't soaking wet. Yeah, your hands feel different from the first time yeah, you met. Yeah, definitely. Leslie Foster, Nine News. Clammy. The surgery dried out Eileen's hands and underarms. It did not work for her feet. And she has some side effects. She now has slight sweating along her back, but she says that's minor compared to what she has endured for years. 